Hello, so now we are back to the topic of active storage and attaching files to Ruby on Rails objects. And uh, we can see that we have uh, an avatar attached and in our images we have an image and an audio. And this is kind of uh, not very right. So uh, why in our images can we have both images, audio, PDFs and uh, whatever. And what if somebody uploads a really huge video? Well, then uh, we can have an our application crushed and also we can have a gigantic bill for our cloud storage provider. So we don't want that. We will want to add some kind of validations for our uh, attachments. And uh, active storage doesn't provide any default strategy for this, but there is a wonderful gem named active storage validations. So we are now going to try to implement this gem and see how it works. Now, the validation method in this gem that uh, it offers is really straightforward. We can just uh, validate if a file is attached. We can validate the, for the content type. If the file is an audio or a video or whatever, we can validate dimensions. We can validate if it is landscape or portrait. We can validate uh, what else. Uh, we can validate the quantity of uh, has many attached. So let's see how it works. Uh, somewhere here we have this uh, installation guide. Yeah, we will just add the gem active storage validations to our gem file. Okay, now I will run bundle. Okay, and now let's add some validations. So I will go to our post model and I will add some basic validations for the avatar. Now, what does it, the gem offer us by default? We can validate the presence. So we are not going to say presence true. We are going to say attached true. We have to see if it is attached. So we will say validates avatar attached true. And let's see if it works. Now I will uh, go to edit in the post. And I will uh, try to, yeah, I will actually go to create a new post. So I go to new post. I create a title and press create post. And you see we get this error, avatar cannot be blank. And it is because we added validation for avatar. Now let's add some additional validations. Let's say the content type has to be an image. So content type should be image. Let's add an avatar, but it will be an audio. We add it and you see avatar has incompatible content type looks and works well. Let's add some more validations. Let's say it should be of a defined size. So size should be less than, well, 100 megabytes is definitely a lot too much for an avatar. Let's say 100 kilobytes. That's quite a little, but it will help us to check out the validation. I will add a bigger image and press create post. And you see the avatar is not given between size. So the validations work. Let's also try to add another validation. Let's say uh, uh, it has to be portrait or landscape. Here we have this aspect ratio should be landscape. For example, let's see if it works. So attached true, aspect ratio landscape. And I will try to add another image. I will add this one. And we get this error cannot load such file image magic or mini magic. Well, we should add another gem to be able to add some validations for aspect ratio, if it is an image, for dimensions, if it is an image. So let's add this other gem. It is also mentioned in the gem file, oh, in the readme. So we take the gem mini magic, we will add it to our gem file and run bundle. Okay, now Rails server. And I will refresh, resubmit. And we get this avatar must be a landscape image. So it kind of works. Now let's, uh, well, I will remove this landscape aspect ratio and let's validate has many attached. So let's say validates uh, images attached true. So it has to have at least uh, some kind of images attached. I'll go to posts. I will create a new post. Press create post. And you see it gives us avatar can be blank and images can be blank. 
So the validation works. And we can also validate the quantity of images. Let's say we will add this. Where is it? We can limit, for example, between one and three. So minimum one, maximum three. And I will try to add four images, actually four different files of different content types. So it is loading all the files and already when the files are being processed, it checks the quantity and it says images total number is out of range. And actually we can and should uh, uh, enforce more validations on types. So you see, for Avatar we already added a validation that it should be image PNG. But what if we try to upload a JPEG? It will not work. So we would want to make this range broader. We will want to validate content type for PNG, JPG and JPEG. So here I will say content type, PNG, JPG, and JPEG. Okay, and the images can be, let's say, uh, PNG, JPG, JPEG, and MP3. Let's see if it works. And MP3. So now again, I will go to posts. And I will add an avatar. I'll try to add an avatar that is an audio. It loads and we get an error. Okay, avatar has invalid content type. I'll add an avatar that fits. I will add a few images. One of them is going to be a video. Let's try. So one is an image, one is a video. It's loading the video and we expect it not to allow the video to be processed. But after the video, we will try to add an mp3, you see? Images have an invalid content type. So I will go and add the mp3 and it should work well. So, okay, avatar can be blank. Now again, I'm adding an avatar. I'm adding the mp3 and I create content. And yeah, it works. So I managed to add some basic validations using active storage and uh, I encourage you to have a look at the gem itself and it can be interesting for you at some point to validate the size of uh, images. For example, let's try to validate dimensions, uh, minimum and maximum for, for avatar. We haven't done it yet. I wonder if uh, it will work for us. Here we are getting an error. I need to close this uh, array. Okay, so we validate the width, minimum 800, maximum 2400. Let's uh, see. I will go to edit the post and try to re-upload the avatar. And you see, avatar width must be greater than or equal to 800 pixel. So it works perfectly. And that's how active storage validation works. Thanks for being with me and have a nice day.